Welcome to our tutorial on creating driver payroll settlements in Easy Loads. Let's get started. Overview of the driver payroll page. Let's start by navigating to the driver payroll section in Easy Loads. Here, you'll find a comprehensive overview of all driver settlements. On this page, you'll see Settlement number Date of the settlement Payable to the recipient of the payment Driver name Settlement total Balance due, the remaining balance to be paid Email, here you can check if the settlement has already been sent to a recipient Status, this is crucial it shows the current stage of the settlement You can select preparing ready for payment or paid Notes, use this section to include any additional information or comments the triangles next to the columns are sorting tools, allowing you to sort the data by specific fields. At the top of the driver payroll page, you'll find a set of filters to help you quickly locate specific settlements by narrowing down the displayed entries. For example, select Ready for Payment under the Status filter. Click the Apply button to update the results. To view the total amount to be paid, make sure to check all relevant boxes. If you need to adjust or reset your search, click Clear All. Now, let's explore the Batch Actions feature. Use the checkboxes to select the settlements you want to process. With Batch Actions, you can Email settlements or download as PDF or Excel. Let's begin by sending the settlements via email. The system will automatically verify that all the details are accurate before proceeding. If needed, you can use this option to send copies to multiple recipients. You'll also see important details like the settlement number and recipient contact information. In this example, we notice a missing email address, which is mandatory. To fix this, click on the vendor's name. Then go to the contact section, click the green pencil icon, and add the name and email address. Remember to hit save. Once the details are updated and everything is correct, you're ready to proceed. Before sending, you can preview the attached PDF file to review and confirm all the information. When everything checks out, simply click Send to finalize. Creating a new driver settlement. You have two options for creating a driver settlement. Option 1. View all unfiltered entries. Option 2. Create a new settlement with filters. Click New. Select the driver from the drop-down if you don't want filters, and proceed with creating the settlement without setting a time range or date. The second option is to select a specific period, like August 12 to 19, to filter entries and avoid older charges. You can also filter by pickup or delivery date to include only necessary loads in the settlement. Now, let's go ahead and create a new settlement without applying any filters. The process will be the same for creating a filtered settlement as well. Select the driver from your list. Once the driver is added, you'll see three key sections on the screen. Unpaid loads. At the top, you'll see all unpaid loads linked to this driver. Fuel deductions. Fuel deductions are displayed for easy addition to the paycheck. Recurring charges. The system automatically generates recurring charges, such as insurance and ELD fees. To add any of these items to the paycheck, simply click the blue plus sign next to each one. You can view the driver settlement summary below. To add a one-time addition or deduction, simply click the corresponding button. Advance Payments If the driver has an advance payment, you can include it in the settlement. Finalizing the payroll settlement After all loads, deductions, charges, and advanced payments have been added, you have the option to change the status to Ready for Payment. This step is important because it locks in the current entries, preventing any further changes, and allows you to review the settlement before finalizing it. You can double-check everything by downloading the settlement as a PDF. This allows you to ensure that all the details are correct. 
Once you're sure that everything has been processed accurately, follow these steps to finalize the payroll settlement. Click on New Payment to ensure the payment is properly recorded. The settlement date is flexible and can be adjusted as needed. You can edit the description to reflect any specific details you want to include for this payment. Additionally, you can enter a partial amount if you only wish to pay a portion of the total now, leaving the remaining balance for a future payment. If you pay the full amount, the settlement status will automatically change to paid once you save it. To provide the driver with their settlement, you can download it as a PDF or directly email it to them by clicking the email button. The driver's email will automatically populate and the settlement will be attached. Just hit send to deliver it. Yes, that's it. If you have any questions or need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to our team at support at easyloads.net. Enjoy using EasyLoads TMS 